Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Jojo and I'm here with another Zodiac Chat. Yes, we are behind on Zodiac Chats. This is actually the same day as my Aries video. I just changed shirts on y'all. Made it look like a different day, okay? I don't say I'm not about the entertainment. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, I know we're behind, so I said I was going to spend the day trying to catch up on Zodiac Chat, so now we are doing Taurus. Uh, let me put my disclaimer out there. So, I am not a tarot card reader, I am not a psychic, and I am not an astrologist. I am somebody who finds astrology to be interesting, and occasionally I like to talk about it here on this channel. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not true, but it's always fun, all right? Always got to put that out there. So everybody gets a nickname on Zodiac Chat. Let's go through the nicknames. We got Capricorn, you guys are the boss. We got Aquarius, y'all are the secret weapon. We got Pisces, the magical multitude. That's my favorite name. We got our Aries, you all are the headliner. And then we got Taurus, you guys. Well, I'll tell y'all y'all's nickname in a minute. I'm not gonna tell y'all right now. So first of all, just starting out, I will say that I'm a little Taurus biased. A little, just a little bit, just a little bias, okay? Because A, Taurus is another fellow Earth sign along with Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We'll talk about that another time. But I'm um, a little biased, okay? Because we have similar um, earthy type qualities. Also, my best friend is a Taurus. We have been best friends since elementary school. Nobody is taking my girl's place ever, ever, ever. That is my friend, my friend, <laughs> and we will remain friends probably until the day one of us hits the dirt and even into eternity. That will be my friend. Um, and I will say, I think my longest relationship, well, if you want to call it that, because we started when we were too young and then, you know, it was all kind of stuff going on in between and situationship and then back to relationship so I will say my longest situation was probably with a Taurus um I wouldn't say it was my best relationship but it was a relationship that I learned a lot from and he's one of the few exes that I can still have a conversation with chill vibe with not too heavy now because because he married <laughs> and I don't do all of that but you know just kind of chill talk to occasionally and it'd be nothing but we were friends first so that's probably why it's able to be that way because most of my ex and child you know once you're gone you're gone we don't need to be friends what we need to be friends for that's just me but um yeah so I'm a little biased I'm a little bit biased okay my fellow earth sign but we're gonna get into it um so I decided to give you all the nickname Okay, follow me here. The Red Bull. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. I know y'all want to go. I know y'all was pissed at that nickname. I know you think it's unoriginal, but stay. Stay. I want to talk to you. I want to talk. Okay. So, of course, you all, your sign is the bull, right? And I didn't want to focus on, like, the negative part of what the bull meant, you know, about it being, uh, you know, stubborn or anything like that. That's not what I wanted to focus on. So, of course, you guys know by nature you got the bull. We know what the bull represents. But I call you guys the red bull because Tauruses are known to be very chill. Like, they can pick up the pace, but why? You know, most of the time, y'all are super duper chill. You guys know how to chill out. You guys know how to relax. And so I call you red bull because every now and then, you need the wings. You know, they say the red bull give you wings. And every now and then, Taurus, you need them. <laughs> You need them because occasionally y'all are super duper on chill. But once y'all get going, you get it done. And so I call y'all the Red Bull because once you get in the gear, it's on and popping. Okay, y'all gonna y'all gonna finish whatever needs to get done. And I love that about y'all. All right. So getting into the things we like about Taurus, the very first thing I love about a Taurus is the reliability. Tauruses, for the most part, are extremely loyal loyal and extremely reliable um like i said i'm biased of course my best friend is a taurus um but we call my friend we call her like the joan clayton of the friendship because it's four of us but if we're talking about the glue it's really my best friend like if it comes down to communicating between us three or something that needs to get done she's there she's gonna do it 
Um, I have seen her plan stuff for people that really aren't even her friends like that, like that, but she's just so reliable and, and, and just so there for people that she just does it. She just gets it done. She's just one of those people, um, has a sweet spirit about her. And most of the Tauruses, I know even on my line, the Tauruses that are on my line, if I ask them to do something, it's not really like a, well, why me? Or why I got to do it? It's kind of like, a, okay, I can do that. I can get it done. Um, I'll just get a team of people together or I need you to help me with this. Like, they're just reliable. They're loyal. They're reliable. They're going to get stuff done. And I really, really like that about them. It's, it's kind of like a say no more type of situation once you ask a Taurus. Um, a lot of people will call you guys like the builders of the Zodiac when it comes time to get stuff done. You know, the building blocks, the foundation, you all are really good for that. Okay. Another thing I love about a Taurus, can we talk about the practicality of it all? Can we talk about the practicality of it all? A Taurus is very much the facts are the facts. This is what we're talking about. Let's not skirt the issue. Like, give me the facts, give me the logic, and then let's discuss it. Um, you all tend to be very good mediators as well in certain situations where a mediator is needed because you're able to look at the facts, pre present the facts. Do you always make the best decision? No. <laughs> no. I wouldn't say that you always make the right decision, but you usually are very good at giving out just sound logical advice you know just base level logical advice you look at the facts you look at what's going on and then you put it back out there for whoever may need it and i appreciate that just very practical people um i don't know much like how the men are in their home environments but i know that in the home environment of a taurus woman it's gonna be very um grounded is the best way to describe it. It's going to feel like a home. Have you ever walked into somebody's house and you just like, woo, child, did y'all just move? Because it's like stuff everywhere, not even like dirty. It's just kind of like the home doesn't look lived in. It looks like, you know, the TV on the floor and it's stuff unfinished and, you know, they ain't got no pots and pans in there, you know. <laughs> There's no seasoning in the cabinets. That's not gonna be a Taurus home. A Taurus home looks like it is lived in, looks like it is grounded, looks like it's rooted. Um, you know, my couch and stuff and my pillow, you can tell these pillows came with the couch. Like it's very um, kind of plain Jane, and I didn't pick this out. It's very kind of plain Jane, but a Taurus home, even if it's not, you know, very bells and whistles, it has like a, a earthy, grounded quality to it. Like the textures feel good. There's cozy blankets in the corner. Um, there's there's just an element of it where you, there's candles. Like a Taurus has a home feel. You want to stay there. You want to spend the night. That's the home that you want to spend the night in. Um, there, there's aromas coming from the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what a Taurus home gives you. Not a lot of people have that element. Unless you guys have a crazy sign in your home area of your um, houses. And I'm not getting into all that because I'm not skilled in that area. But unless you have like a totally opposite sign there, most of the time a Taurus has a very comfortable, I love y'all's homes. Like every Taurus house I go to, I don't want to leave. Okay, I could sit on them couches. I'll probably take a nap. I can't even remember the last time I didn't take a nap in a um, Taurus household. Just cozy. Cozy, cozy, a, uh, ooh, I was about to cuss, but <laughs> cozy as cozy can get. I'll just say that. Okay, so moving on to the things that probably some would consider not to be so great. Y'all know we do the things we like, things we don't really like too much. And, um, you know, the stubbornness, I could go there. I could go there. But I think y'all know that, okay? I think people are always telling y'all, y'all are stubborn. Y'all don't like to hear the, you know, don't like nobody to tell you nothing. I think people always tell y'all that, so we won't go there. But what we are gonna go to is the nosiness. Uh, can we talk about the no? Look, I know y'all mean well. Like I said, you're very good at giving out advice. You're very good at understanding both sides. You're very practical all of your friends we love you we appreciate you for that but sometimes y'all 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 meddle 
y'all not even metal because metal is messy you, you, it's not a messy type of way but it's just a kind of like I don't really want to talk about this and you're not gonna try to go me you know try to move me into talking about it I don't want to talk about it Okay, I don't want your advice on the situation. Sometimes it's okay, Taurus, to say, well, is this something that you want advice on? Or are you just venting? Because sometimes you just get in there with yours, right? And you know, sometimes nobody asked you. You know, it's just that simple. Sometimes nobody asks. But a lot of times a Taurus can, you know, they can get in. They can get into things that maybe necessarily they don't need to be in. And, um, we'll just, we'll just keep it there. We'll just keep it right there. But yeah, you guys, I know you mean well. I know you do. So many people do come to y'all. Um, the next thing is quite interesting. Um, Taurus present very, as very patient, very kind hearted, very, I'm not ruffled type of people. And I believe that. I believe that y'all have a lot of that, but I also believe some of it is a front. Because one of the things about a Taurus, and it's a it's a bad trait to have because it can eventually lead to you either blowing up or being stressed. Y'all have a tendency to hold stuff in. Um, you won't necessarily speak on a subject. You won't necessarily go there. You kind of will just hold in how you feel about something or what you think about something. And then all of a sudden it all, the floodgates open and y'all will rant and rave and carry on and write a think piece and have a whole lot to say. And then at the end, you'll be like, oh, okay, well, I'm glad I got that off my chest. I'm sorry. I was just, I just had a lot of that pent up. But you all could stand to kind of just let it out. You know, every now and then, just let it out. Just so it's not all building up into you. Because once y'all get going, y'all... <laughs> I would not want to catch y'all on a bad day. But yeah, once y'all get going, it's just like, where did this come from? But you've been holding it in the whole time. Um, and then the last thing is when you all are on a project, when you all are on assignment, like I said, that Red Bull, honey, once you get it, you get going, you don't stop. But baby, when you're not on something, you can get quite lazy, okay? A Taurus, if you like just chilling sometimes and putting your feet up, okay, for maybe the whole entire day, okay? If you like going on vacation and just laying by the pool, a Taurus is your friend. A Taurus is the person you want to bring. It's not that they don't want to go on and do other things. They do. But if you don't, <laughs> they not mad because... They will chill. They they will chill and they will just kind of lounge around and give you a little bit of couch potato and put their feet up. It, it's, 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 it could get, get, be quite perfect. I wouldn't call them homebodies, but if you need them to be a homebody for a couple of days, they definitely are willing to do the job. Especially if they're in the comfort of somebody that they love or somebody that they always have a good time with. Y'all might not ever leave the house, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, okay, like Taurus is in relationships, you know, sometimes it can be cool for them just to chill and hang out and um, do the chill thing. But yeah, so that was really it. That was all I had for Taurus's. Like I said, I'm a little bit biased. I am a little bit biased um, because my best friend is a Taurus. But overall, I think you guys are cool people. Um, I've only dated one of you. And like I said, that, that relationship was interesting. But <laughs> There were, uh, I guess, more good times than bad, depending on who you ask. I guess there were. Um, but like I said, they were still always a cool person in the midst of everything that was going on. Um, and always great, reliable friends, somebody that you can get advice from, um, somebody that you might have to tell, you know, I don't want to talk about that. Because like I said, they'll get into your business <laughs> if you let them. But for the most part, just great friends to have. Um, I don't really hear too many bad things about a Taurus unless they're just extremely stubborn and extremely mean, but I don't really hear that too much. Y'all let me know what you think about Tauruses, and uh, I will be back for the next Zodiac Chat. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.